going, I'm going ahead to make, I'll make measurements for two things, chocolate chin chin and ordinary chin chin. So, so the calculation we did, I gave you for 500 grams, using 500 grams of flour. But on this one, I'm going to be using 250 grams, which, which is half, half of the 500 grams. 250 grams for chocolate and um, and um, 250 for ordinary or ginger because I'll tell you you can do the ginger also. But now I don't have ginger water with me, so I can't do it. I can't make it like that. So to the measurement, as I've explained that, if you, it's not necessary to use skill. Use skill, but you can use skill as well. But I'm going to be using cup so that you can understand better. One cup, one cup is one twenty-five gram. One cup of flour is one twenty-five gram. The fact that it is one twenty-five gram does not mean one cup of another thing, maybe rice or something should be one twenty-five gram. And that is where skill comes in. But for flour alone, one cup is one twenty-five gram. So let's get started. So I'm going to be measuring two cup, which is two fifty gram. See the way I'm doing it. It's not that you are going to be you are going to be pressing it. No, you are not going to do that. What you are going to be doing is measuring it like this. can see so I'm going to level it now leveled of it you can see this is leveled of the flour which is 125 gram so I'm going to pour it in here this is my I'm because I'm going to see it this is my seed so I'm going to see it so I'm going to measure two cup which is 250 grams This is two fifty grams. And now to see this way. Can you see? So for the other one also, I'm going to be using, let me use scale for the other one so that you can see what I'm saying. It's on zero like this. So I'm going to be pouring in 250 grams of flour. So I'm going to be measuring out 250 grams. Sugar, I like to melt my sugar in my water in my liquid. So, one cup of sugar is 200 grams. One cup of sugar is 200 grams. Why the half cup? Of course, half cup, half, half cup will be 100 grams. Where I and um, 
quarter cup will be 50 gram and for this 250 gram you know ratio 5 gram so it means we are going to be using 50 grams of sugar so let's measure this out 50 grams of sugar you don't need to see that one of course it's going to melt so i'll be adding 50 grams you can see my measurement 50 grams of sugar in my milk water the same thing remove the bin from the circle one you see 50 grams in my milk water this is this one i'm going to let it set i'm going to I'm going to let it melt. Why I will wait for this to melt? For our for our chocolate chinchin, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of cocoa powder. One tablespoon of cocoa powder to our to our you can decide to see this and you may not it will melt to the flour one tablespoon of cocoa powder to it of course you'll be needing a pinch of salt just pinch of salt just pinch of salt to both the mixture i'm working with something like in like this so I'm Bring the two together. Pinch of salt. You can decide to use one, you know, one egg for 500 grams. So I'm going to be using one egg for 250 grams. One egg for 250 grams. That's two eggs. So you can decide to use half a or just follow the normal formula. So right now I'm mixing, I'm going to go in to mix the powder together like this. See? And this one is going to mix with a spoon. So let's go for our margarine. Our margarine is going to be 25 grams. I'm going to measure out 25 grams of margarine. This is my margarine. Yeah, I'll be using my skill. Yeah. 25 grams of margarine. After measuring, so I've added my 25 grams of 25 grams of or 1 tablespoon 1 tablespoon for margarine so I'm going to go in and work it together for both then I'll add my egg and my water So I've mixed the two. You see, it's so sandy. This is how it's going to be. It's going to be sandy like this. The other one for chocolate soup, for chocolate chin chin, that one too is sandy. So what I'll do right now is to break my egg and add my water. My 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 sugar has melt. So. Remember, I added baking powder. So, I'll work in with my egg. My egg is here. So, I'm going in with my sugar and then milk and chocolate. So, this is what I'll be mixing. You add it gradually. Remember, I'm just using just a cup of water, and that is all you need. No matter what, that is all you need. You don't need additional water again. It may look hard or somehow, but just continue kneading. Just continue kneading. Okay. This is 
is uh, you are going to work it. Once everything moves together, you will put it on the work table and then you continue weaving. You see? This is a perfect consistency. This is a perfect consistency. So what you do is see my work service is clean. I see clean more. And just transfer it. And so I don't put I know some people do sprinkle flowers on work service, but my work service is neat enough. And for my changing I don't do that because I always get a perfect consistency, so I don't need to. So all you need is just need, you need, you need, you need it well, that's all. Just continue needing and you let it rest before we do the cutting. So this is the chocolate cake. The moment you add your wet mixture, it will bring out the chocolate color for you. And this is our chin chin pattern. So I'm going to leave it for a while for it to, you know, for everything to melt together and cut it there. So right here we start the rolling. So this is my work surface. For me, I don't I don't dust my work surface, I don't do that because also if you do that by the time you are by the time you are frying all the flour you you use to dust by the time you fry you will see that those flour will quickly spoil the oil. You will see all those flowers settle down beneath the oil you are using to fry and it will spoil the oil. So I don't do that. So what I will be doing I'm going to be dividing this. I can't do it at once. Now I'll be working with this. So this is my rolling cake. This is 